I was paid a healthy bounty for Ringo and Curly Bill, and realized there was real money to be made. That's why I went after Henry Plummer. Now wasn't he the sheriff who augmented his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh yeah, I remember him. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. So it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. The Magnificent One. I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Plummer rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape. And that's where I thought I'd find him. It makes me nervous standing so close to all these goddamn barrels of gunpowder. Why would you be nervous? No one has the components to come after us. As long as you don't light up a cigar, we're fine. As my late father pointed out to me more than once, God made oh, men. Shit. But Samuel Colt made a leap. Uh, I'm not barrel? Or did I just miss it? Oh, it's a rock. I see. That's why I didn't blow up. Am I supposed to go into the mine? The mine entrance is right here, man. Hello. Switch off weapons if I want, if I don't want. Oh, there's another way up. Oh. Yes, there is more than one way to skin the cat. Let's see what's up here. Climb. Climb. That's it? Really? Okay. I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. Jeez. There were thieves and killers, robbing travelers and hijacking gold shipments. Like those that ran with Plummer. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher. The hell? Ordinary citizens who lived a double life. Stealing and thieving and murdering their neighbors. Difference between an inlaid six shooter and a ranger. Let's see. Of course, the rest were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Palmer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other.
Meh. I kinda want this, but I need to get this first. Yeah, whatever. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. I see you back there. Do you know who we are? Man. Dangerous, desperate individual. I was outnumbered and in way over my head, but I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. They must have thought I was tough, or had some kind of death wish. Seeing as there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. Watch out for the <laughs> one stray bullet, one stray spark, and I'd be blown to hell and gone. Did oh, I have any second thoughts about what back. I was doing? No. I thought I was some kind of hero. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. You can't beat the innocents! Yeah, I can. Shoot off your head. Come on, dude. Really? I want the shotgun. Nope, I don't. Oh, what the hell? Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. <laughs> You. A single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. Oh boy. Go! Oh. You ain't beefing me. Go up here, get some ammo. I saw an ammo crate. I think. To go back and try to find some other stuff. Nah. I was headed the right way. Don't need to climb. Quick reflexes often make up for a lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never <laughs> one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. Holy powder and dynamite shit. everywhere. A body has to know what he's shooting at. All oh. it takes is one tiny spark, and boom. Take that asshole out! Can't I just I can't do it from here? Yeah, I can do it. As a boy, I always loved the fourth okay, of July. Mind. Just cannot shoot anything at all. Take that asshole out! Okay, let's do this. Oh, you jerk, stop that! 
careful. Get out here. I'm not the one hiding behind a box. Thank you. Oh, that's a lot of gunpowder. One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dad blasted too. Oh no. What was I supposed to do there? Ow! It's a good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. Instead, I spotted a ladder. Way into the mine from the opposite side. Oh my god. It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. Of course, being I had a problem with heights, that scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Because even though I had a younger man's reflexes, no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. I needed to make a leap of faith. Which ain't easy when you're suspended between heaven and hell. Huh! I was determined not to give up, however. <sighs> As Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find old Bob. And I have made it my mission to settle that score come hell or high water. But first, I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator, or climb the ladder. Apparently Nugget is nearby. Where is it? Used. I'll go with the ladder. Oh, there's the nugget. I see it. Give me. Ain't shot. Time to blow your shit up. <laughs> Bad enough. Oh, damn it. I will drop you down oh, my way. God. Stop that. Dodge. Oh, I dodged the wrong way. Well, now we'll try the elevator. I picked the more convenient and more dangerous route. That's okay. Was a mad dog killer. Oh crap! And the ah! people of Nevada City deserved it. God damn dynamite! He 
was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. Pull it up the butt. The point was, taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. These tracks are very unsteady. No more nuggets. was clearly unhinged, and I could see right away that this was going to take some doing. Oh boy. Reload. I'm going all medieval on your ass. What? What does that mean? I keep my distance. He's using dual pistols. Headshots! Looks like he has another stage where we'll probably. Oh no. Yeah, you do. I hit you. Where'd you go, Mr. Plumber? How many headshots do I need on you? Hi. So that's how Henry Plummer died. Him and his crew were worth their weight in gold. And now, I was officially a bounty hunter.